So former NBA player Magic Johnson destroys LeBron James and blames LeBron James for the Lakers getting an ungentle sweep. See, I don't like to use terms like gentleman sweep because when I think of a gentleman, I think of chivalry. I think of a guy being courteous, being respectful, being mannerable to a woman, holding the door for women, pumping the gas for women. Pulling the chair out so a woman can sit down. This ain't the fifties, bruh. What you want to do is act as if you're going to hold the door for her. And soon as you see her about to walk in the door, that's when you slam the door right in her face. <laughs> and that's exactly what Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray, and the Nuggets did to LeBum James. Jamal Murray still put belt to behind. I repeat. Jamal Murray still put belt to behind. He embarrassed LeBron James. I would like to call this a cheaterman's sweep. That's right. I said it, ladies and gentlemen, a cheatersman's sweep. If it wasn't for the Adam Silver and the RBA refs cheating for the Los Angeles Lakers and helping them win, the Los Angeles Lakers wouldn't have won one single game against the Denver Nuggets. Why? Because they're not Good enough. But let's read what Magic Johnson had to say. And here's a disclaimer. I will be doing the translation because a lot of people don't like to be direct when it comes to LeBron James because they're fearful of how the bronze sexuals will attack them. So here's what Magic Johnson says. We know that when Magic Johnson refers to the Lakers, he's actually talking about LeBron James. He says LeBron James has nobody to blame but himself. LeBron James wouldn't have been in the playing game or finished as a seventh seed this season if he hadn't lost too many games because of load management. But one of the main things to point out in this sentence is when Magic Johnson says nobody to blame but himself. LeBron James is the sole reason why the Lakers suck. Why the Lakers got swept by the Denver Nuggets. And ultimately, what Magic Johnson is really saying is that the Lakers didn't even deserve a playing spot. The Lakers didn't even deserve to make it to the RBA playoffs. They got lucky and got handed a gift by Le Adam Silver James. That's all. And then you're going to have the childish broad sexuals, the LBJTG. They're going to be so childish. Magic Johnson. He just hating on LeBron James. Magic Johnson, he just saying that because he got HIV and he mad at the world. Like, that's how childish the broad sexuals are. Throwing temper tantrums. Now they're saying that Darwin Ham needs to be fired. It's more likely that Darwin Ham isn't going to return to the Lakers next season. Then I'm seeing reports where it says that the Los Angeles Lakers, they're willing to do whatever it takes to draft Bronny James on behalf of his father, LeBum James. We went from Magic Johnson to Tragic James. But as I said, ultimately, what Magic Johnson is getting to is that the Los Angeles Lakers, they really shouldn't even be in the playoffs. Y'all got to read in between the lines. They don't deserve to be in the playoffs. And they need to blame LeBron James. You got LeBron James going off at Darwin Ham. I'm seeing Darwin Ham trying to call out plays and trying to encourage the team, trying to motivate them. Bro, you ain't got no respect. They don't respect you. That's just further proof LeBron James could never be coached by none of the greatest coaches of all time. But LeBron James is so overrated. I don't think that the way that the Denver Nuggets defeated the Los Angeles Lakers was a gentleman's sweep. It was more so along the lines of a peasant sweep. Jamal Murray, he transformed himself into the clone of Kobe. He looked like the Mamba in the clutch. How do you allow Jamal Murray to hit two clutch shots in a series? Nikola Jokic is the Nuggets' best player, but LeBron James is supposedly the greatest player of all time. Michael Jordan would have locked up Jamal Murray down the stretch. Kobe Bryant would have locked up Jamal Murray down the stretch, but LeBron James was missing in action. How do you allow Jamal Murray, who's not the best player, and LeBron's supposed to be the best player, how do you, as the supposed best player, not stop the player who's not the best? LeBron James is to blame as to why the Lakers were swept by the Denver Nuggets.